hello everyone welcome back to part line topics these are 10 yoruba nollywood couples who marry their colleagues the first couple are building shola thomas and yewande adekoya abiodu thomas and yewande adekoya are both yoruba actors and producers how did they meet they met in march 2008 when abiodu went to see a friend in the hospital and yewande also went to go and visit the same person that was how they got talking and they liked each other's personality. Unfortunately, Abiodun lost Yuande's contact. A few months later, she returned to Ibado for her youth service, and that was how they reconnected. They caught her for about five years before they got married in year 2013. Abiodun Thomas is an actor and producer known for Return of Case Harry. Yuande Adekoya is an actress and producer known for Iyawo Adedigba Fadaka Omwelemo Shon Ogo Son. Irubo and Iruju, just to mention a few. The second couple are Fizeniola and Esther Kalejai. Afizeniola is an actor, movie producer, scriptwriter, and production manager born on February 22. He is popularly known as Oni Lere, and the first movie he featured in is titled Omo Okorun, which was produced by Mide Martins. He is married to an actress, Esther Kalejai. This pair are one prominent pair in Yoruba movies because aside taking up characters in movies. They also work behind the cameras. While Afiz works as location manager and continuity manager, Esther also works as a costumier on movie sets. The third couple, Shego Ngunbe and Omomumi Ajiboye. Shego Ngunbe, whose real name is Shego Akoni Ogunbe, is a Yoruba-born actor, filmmaker, producer, and director. He's the son of the late actor and filmmaker Aki Ogunbe. Shego is skillful, creative, and exceptionally talented. He is gifted in acting and interpreting roles and accepts freely any movie roles assigned to him in the industry. Some of his movies include Akoto Olokada, One and Two, Ilaowo, Tabajewo, Ashiri Koko, Olobo Yajebu, Baba Arubo, Agata, Father and Daughter, Diamond, and several others. Omao Miyajibo Yashego Gumbe got married in the year 2015. They knew each other long before they got married. She was a Lagos-based young lady working under Shegun Gumbe Films Academy. After she got pregnant, the actor married her as a second wife. Currently, she is the mother of a three-year-old boy and a successful actress. The fourth couple, Rafiu Balogo and Fausat Balogo. Fausat Balogo, who started her acting career in her childhood days, is happily married to a fellow veteran actor, Alaji Rafiu Balogo. She has been married for 42 years. That was since she was 18 years old. It was a boss before they got married. In her career, Foster Balogun has featured in many blockbuster flicks, including Oyelaja, Owo Onibara, Okomi, Akebaje, Morenike, Okomamai, Tanimola, Nkonkuku, Adufe, Nenya Akmonle, Labalaba, Itselon, Omwelemo Show, and the Yawojo Kong, just to mention a few. The fifth couple, Tony Abraham, Kola Wale, Ajayemi. Tony Abraham and the Yoruba Nollywood actor Kola Wale Ajayemi had their traditional introduction in February 2019 and their engagement ceremony on July 4, 2019. Over the years, Tony Abraham has produced, directed, and featured in several Nigerian films such as Alaniba Balagbake and Ebi Mini. She was nominated for Best Supporting Actress in a Yoruba Film titled Ebi Mini during the 2013 Best of Nollywood Awards. Alongside Joke Muiwa, another veteran, who was nominated for Best Lead Actress. She has acted and produced several movies, including Alakada, Alakada Reloaded, Don't Get Mad, Get Even, Made in Heaven, The Millions, Casanova, Bling Lagos, The Ghost and the Tout, and Seven and Half Dates, just to mention a few. Kola Wale Ajayemi is one of the popular faces in the Yoruba movie industry and a constant face in Shagun Odumbe's movies. Kola Wale Uluwa Shogun Jeyemi is an actor, director, and producer. The sixth couple, Bukola Awoyemi and Damola Olatunji. Damola Olatunji became one of the most famous actors in Nollywood Yoruba genre. He has starred in over 100 films since his debut as an actor. And now he's also a producer and a director. He's married to an actress, Bukola Awoyemi, who is popularly known as Aruba. Damola and Bukola starred in several films and this only strengthened their romantic feelings. They legalized their union in January 2015. The seventh couple, Razak Olayiwala and Moji Afolayan. 
Yoruba star actress and one of the daughters of the late Adia Folayon, popularly known as Adi Love, Moji Folayon, Olayi Wola, has been married to fellow thespian, film producer and director Azak Olayi Wola for about 15 years or more now. The couple met on the job over a decade ago and has since been married. Moji Folayon is an actress and producer with several movies to her credits. Azak Olayi Wola is widely referred to as Ojo Pagogo, by fans of Yoruba movies. He got the name after playing the role of an aged man in a movie a decade ago. The eighth couple, Sunday Omobolali and Peju Ogumola, renowned comic actor Sunday Omobolali, aka Papi Luwe, and his wife and actress, Peju Ogumola, have been together for over three decades and still counting. Papi Luwe used to work with Pa Ogumola. Peju Ogumola's father, whenever they traveled all over the Federation for stage plays back then, they used to return to Lagos. They always stopped at Pa Ogumola's house. According to Papi Luwe, he met Pedro Ogumola in her father's house. The night couple, Mide Martins and Afiz Abiodun. Mide Fumi Martins Abiodun is a Nigerian film actress and producer, best known for Omo Okuon, Eruleru, and Ariowa. She is the daughter of the late veteran actress Fumi Martins, who died in the year 2002. Mide is the wife of Afiz Owa Abiodun, a movie producer and an actor. Afiz Abiodun is also known as Afiz Owo. He's a prolific and generous Yoruba movie actor, director, and producer in the Nollywood industry. He is known so much for his peculiar Isaiyan Yoruba accent conversations in the movie. He's also a film producer who has masterminded the making of many interesting Yoruba movies in the industry. His first work is Majen Simowaye. Afiz Owo attended St. Paul Anglican School in Diroko and Faramora Secondary School in New York State. He traveled down to Lagos in the mid 1980s to join the entertainment industry to Razak or Laiwala, popularly called Ujukwagugu. He has been nurturing a strong passion for acting in a movie since his primary school days. He even wrote a drama script titled Kokoro Aie. Since then, he has featured in several movies, including Obabi Olorun, Yonu Simi, Beremeje, and Eje Tutu, just to mention a few. Afiz Owo is from Isaiye in Oshun State. He has a sweet love story and relationship that led to a marriage with the Yoruba actress Mide Martins. Afiz Owo also happened to be the manager of the late Fumi Martins, who is the mother of Mide Martins, before she eventually passed away on 6th of May 2002 after a brief illness. As luck would have it, they came to develop feelings for each other, started dating and the rest is history. The tenth couple, Princess Lanko and No Network, Adiola Shoremi, who is widely referred to as Princess Lanko or Mobile Dubai, is another popular face who is married to his colleague Kudirat Shoremi, aka No Network. Though these two are said to have met outside Nollywood, they have become one hilarious pair in several Yoruba movies. These are the ten Nollywood couples. For now, you believe some might even join them later. This is a little advice from you and Adikoya to couples who are just about to get married. They should not expect their partners to change after marriage because what you see is what you get. In other words, the character that you've seen when you were dating is what you are going to get after the marriage. Don't expect your partner to change overnight in marriage. They should also be prayerful at all times because nothing can be done without God. Couples must also be content with what they have because contentment is the key to happiness and the way life is structured. You did always find someone who is better than you in so many ways. And if you dwell on that, you did never be happy, even in your marriage. And from her husband, my advice to intended couples is that they should stick to God and put him first in all things. They must be prayerful. More importantly, they should study each other and know themselves well before getting married. They must be able to ask themselves, are we really good to go? Is this person really good for me? Once they can answer these questions, they should back it up with prayers because God is the ultimate. We have come to the end of this episode on this fantastic series on 10 Yoruba Nollywood couples who are married to their colleagues. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for staying with us until this time. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content. And until next time, remain blessed.